please. Welcome back, everyone, to another edition of Rudy's Rants, powered by Come On Now, the podcast. I'm your host, Rudy Rodriguez Shomot, and I got some talking to do. You want to call it a rant? Sure, whatever, I don't care. Caitlin Clark, baby, 29, 10, and 5. What? Off the break, 29, 10, and 5. 8 for 16 from the field, 4 of 11 from 3, 9 of 10 from the line. Big time performance as the Indiana Fever beat the Phoenix Mercury 98 to 89 in their first game out of the break. Kelsey Mitchell balls out 28 points on 11 of 22. Phoenix fell behind by 28 or was it 29? They came back and took the lead because Indiana does what Indiana does. They go into a stupor offensively and allow people back in the game. It's just what they do. They they were incredible the first 18 minutes. And then they were atrocious the next 10 minutes. And then they were incredible again as they fell behind and immediately ran on a 12-0 run to take the game back. Big time performance by the Indiana Fever. Big time performance by Caitlin Clark, Kelsey Mitchell, and um yeah, Aaliyah Boston put in 14 and 9. Melissa Smith put in 13 and 9. Big time win for Indiana. Ka Cooper was balling. Balling, balling, balling. She had 32. She went to the line 19 times, went 18 for 19 from the line. Also, eight rebounds and six assists. Huge, huge performance by her. She is a baller. They didn't shoot the ball all that well, but she made it happen, and she helped get. She really got Phoenix back into that game. Natasha Cloud had 19. Tarasi had 16. But let me tell you something, man. The fourth quarter by Indiana showed so much character because they looked like they were falling apart. And then guess what happened? They decided to start running the damn ball up the floor again. They started running, 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 and it changed the game. This is Caitlin Clark's 10th double-double. Yes, she has double-doubles too, but she does them with points and assists. She is one game off of the WNBA record for guards in a season. Not rookie record, overall record for guards, which belongs to Courtney Vandersloot, who has 11. So Clark has 10 with 13 games left. The Fever improved to 12 and 15. They're now two games behind uh, Phoenix. But they've beaten Phoenix three times, so they have the head-to-head matchup if it was to go to that, and they have it, you know, if they finish with the same record. But this is one of those things where you watch this game and you see a tale of two teams. Indiana, Indiana, and Indiana. Because this wasn't about Phoenix. This was about how Indiana can be so dominant, pushing the ball, pushing tempo. They're up 17 points end of the first quarter. It was 33 to 16. They got it up to 28 in the second. I mean, and then Phoenix finally started hitting a few jump shots and started creeping back in. And Indiana starts walking the ball down the floor again. There was a point where Indiana was up 10. And Christy Sides pulls out. This was in the third. Christy Sides pulls out Caitlin Clark and Aaliyah Boston at the same damn time. I don't understand it. I don't understand the decisions that that woman makes, I mean, quite often. They haven't figured out how to go against the zone. It, it's, it's really weird. They, this is the second time now against the zone for um, the Phoenix Mercury where they've completely imploded. But overall, huge, huge win for the Indiana Fever. Again, 29 points from Caitlin Clark out of the break. She came out blistering. She had 16 with nine minutes to go in the first half. She was hitting three. She hit four. But her she missed a few late that I thought, you know, but all her threes are deep. She's not shooting kiss the line threes. So it's one of those things where you, you, you take the good with the bad. She made some questionable passes at times. There was a behind the back one. She gets a little too fancy at times. She took a turnover at the end just because she let the clock run out. So she finished with five turnovers. But a two to one assist to turnover ratio. Phenomenal performance. Phenomenal by Kelsey Mitchell. Kelsey Mitchell hit some huge threes, six of 13 from three. Big time, big time for Indiana. Just wanted to jump on here and talk about that real quick. They have, who's up next for Indiana? They have next, um, 
Up next for Indiana, they have uh, they have the Storm on Sunday. They're at home against the Storm. They've not fared too well versus the Storm. Jewel Lloyd has looked like a superstar against them, like she can't miss a shot. So it's a big, big game for Indiana. The next two, they're going against Seattle, Minnesota, before they get Atlanta, Connecticut, Chicago, Dallas, L.A., Minnesota, Atlanta. So it's like a, it's one of those schedules where it's here, 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 here. Look, end of the day, if they push pace, they can beat anyone. They put up 98 points today. They should have had 110, 115 because they just complete their offense stopped in the third quarter primarily. Um, overall, great performance. Great performance. Caitlin Clark showed you who she is again. That's why she's the fucking rookie of the year. I don't want to hear it anymore. Coming out balling. She looked like she slept for a month since her last game. She looks rested. She looks rested. She looks rejuvenated. And that's what you want to see from your rookie of the year. Let me know your thoughts on this game. Clark's performance, Mitchell's performance, the overall game. There was a little scuffle in there between Kelsey Mitchell and Natasha Cloud. Hey, man, they, get, they might be a little bit tougher than the men in the NBA. So good game to watch. Enjoyed it. And uh, we will see you tomorrow with another rant on something new. But be sure to like, subscribe, and follow. Ring that bell. Come on now. Caitlin Clark, rookie of the year, baby. Let's go.